Aries, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. And I'm really excited about this message because it's something that I think is going to clarify a lot about what you've been feeling lately. The astrology is tough. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. It's going to be tough through the beginning of August, right? We've entered Leo season, which be like, oh, that should be wonderful. But there is something happening that's a little bit bigger than the sun entering a compatible sign. And that is, I know I've got cards on the table, settle down. I've got astrology for ya. Um, and that is a square between Mars and Mercury most of this week. And then later in, at the end of this week, into basically the rest of this month, into early August, there's an even bigger thing, which is Mars conjuncting Uranus while it's squared to Saturn. What does that mean? Fucking frustration. So it's already building. You can already feel it, especially frustration when it comes to getting shit done, figuring things out, waiting to hear back from people. I'll tell you this right now. If you can please put off any kind of meetings, auditions, whatever y'all do, do with your life, um, um, interviews, anything that has to do with being chosen or selected or confronting an authority figure, put it off into like the second week of August because I can tell you right now there's just a lot of tension when it comes to Mars and other people not letting you move fast enough or not getting shit done right and if you especially up through I think it's August 1st when there's a when you still maintain that square Mars is still maintaining that square to Mercury you guys are gonna pop the fuck off when it comes to your mouth It'll be very easy for you to jump down somebody's throat and it'll be very easy for you to, because you're acting out, jump into shit that could be very dangerous for you, like very injurious to you. So keep away from, and you're going to feel it. You're going to feel really impulsive and I don't want to get, I want to do, I want to feel some, I want to feel emotion so bad that you actually um, are basically allowing yourself or trying to go after like dangerous things. So physical release is necessary for you, but do it through exercise, stuff that you already know how to do, not taking chances, not daring, but, but use it, make yourself sweat. This is the kind of energy that you really want to like use that Mars, Mars needs to sweat, that make yourself sweat. Okay. But don't do it by like threatening your life or doing stupid shit because there's going to be a lot of tension. Absolutely Aries. And 100% it's going to be like that fine balancing point of I know you want change and I'm going to say that I'm going to go even further than that. You deserve this change and you should be frustrated because especially when Mars square Saturn there's just some shit that people are so fucking stuck on and they won't get out of their own goddamn way. And you are so ready to move forward and it's not allowing you. And there's nothing more frustrating than for some a sign that's ruled by Mars to have to take orders. Right? Or be told, no, 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 to be parented. Right? That's, that's not what you, unless of course you really respect somebody. <coughs> you have a lot of respect for somebody and you can in some way learn from them um but that conjunction to uranus that's happening basically is kind of happening now but it's a loose conjunction it's going to be perfect conjunction later on this week or early next week so especially then when you're just going to want change to occur and you are it's going to be explosive like done that's when you that's when you could fly off the most and really be in most danger <coughs> because there's a square to mercury <coughs> excuse me, and a square to Saturn, meeting you're just really pop-offish and combative and willing to put yourself in a compromised position because you just need to feel something getting done. So I want you to be very aware of that energy, Aries, as we go into this reading. Yes, Aries, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries to Row. It is for Aries, Sun, Moon. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'm sorry, guys. It is for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. There's always an extended reading, which I hope that you will join me for. Um, um, yes, there's always an extended reading that I hope you'll join. The link is below, or you can join the Unbound membership to this channel, and that'll give you unlimited access to all the extended readings. And uh, if you want to join me, I do a daily live chat tarot card reading for all of you to join in on. And that's on my second YouTube channel, Astrology Motivation, which I hope you'll go find. And you can, you know, go find it. I'll, I'll attach the link above so you can go discover it. Okay. Let's get into the cards. Um, I done shuffled them, guys. Life is speeding up. It show is. 
Okay. And the wonderful thing about this energy is that things are coming together and that your brain is moving very quickly. And it's also, there's a lot of communications, but there's a lot of tension in the communications. Do not underestimate the astrology. You think it's not affecting you, but it's gonna impact you. At the very least, because I don't know your personal aspects to your personal, to your natal chart, but understand that you're gonna have a lot of opportunities for communication, talking one-on-one, -on -one. that's the interviews. Like I said, interviews, auditions, presentations, whatever it is, like verbal communication, putting everything together, things coming together very quickly and an opportunity, opportunities happening through one-on-one -on -one communications. And yes, of course, you can take this for romance too. If, if it applies, do it, absolutely. Um, but no, that there's an impulsivity here, a rushness here, going really quickly, going really fast. And if you're making new relationships, don't expect them to last very long because there is an impulsivity factor about them. But this, we're gonna start with communications, lots of communications and thoughts, things are starting to add up. And when things add up, you wanna take action on them right away. And that's great, and you can get started, but slow yourself the fuck down. Happy birthday, Doug Denny. Why do I say that? Because I want you to succeed. And the war strategy, the battle strategy has got to be slow and low. Keep that burner low and intentionally make it slow. This is guerrilla warfare, baby. You got to be a sneak attack here. You can't just come on in guns blazing because that's when you fuck yourself up and you die from your own bullet. Okay, I'm just letting you know, and I'm not talking re really, that's just a metaphor. But that's kind of what it is, is you could really, because you're so impulsive, this is a great idea. These are great opportunities. Burn it low and move slow. You don't want this to be heavy burn fast. You don't. Information, let the information come together. It's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to, it's not going to like dissipate. You're not going to, you're not going to miss your opportunity because you're almost in some ways ahead of the opportunity. And that's why the challenge is, can they not wait, but can they slow it down? Because you're kind of ahead of the rhythm. You're kind of ahead of the beat. You know, like the, the rhythm's here. You're all like, okay, slow it the fuck down. Slow it the fuck down. That's what you've got to do to really, and it's going to be challenging. And breathing exercises, meditation, and any kind of physical activity, going to the gym, not punching somebody else. You could get a little too aggressive and angry right now, but punching, like, you know, punching a bag, um, doing some other few extra sit ups, uh, swimming a few extra laps, putting yourself in water in a swimming pool or something that could be really cooling too um, to help you kind of like just relax yourself. Uh, anything that, and yeah, spending yourself physically is going to help you a lot. But uh, I'm not talking, don't do no bungee jumping or stupid shit. The, uh, I mean, up through the beginning of August, it's just going to, you're going to have that mindset of you will, you can fuck yourself up. Be here now. This is more really great advice for you guys. Be here now. This is current. There's also something very beautiful. This card usually comes up when it says, hello, Aries. There's something right in front of you right now that's so beautiful and so perfect, but you're missing it. And I don't know what it is. This is a Libra energy, so it could be potential partnership. It could be potential romance. It could just be that you're ignoring the person that you're with. You're, you're overlooking them. Be in the present moment, the power of now. That's also an added challenge because you're a fire sign and fire signs are future focused. But this is about, there is so much beauty and so many interesting things happening in the present moment You'll miss it if you rush too fast. But if you allow this to just open your mind, you'll actually be opening your eyes at the same time and it'll click, you'll awaken to it and it'll be very visible. So use this energy to expand outward, not try to push forward. That's also another really good use for this energy. We have take a leap of faith. What does that mean? Not in trying something stupid. Take a leap of faith means believe that things are going to happen. Believe in faith itself. You don't have to get this all done right now. If you really have faith in something, you don't have to rush it. You don't have to rush it. You don't have to prove it. You don't have to validate it. This is take a leap of 
faith faith that God is moving along with you and things are not going as slow as you think. Look it, it's already July 20th. I'm telling you that really the danger zone is only through the beginning of August. That is not long. And it's for a lot of this, a lot of the planet, it's summertime. Cool your asses down, slow down, allow yourself to just kind of like break and enjoy vacation a little bit. Don't try to accelerate too many things too fast. And I want you to be really on the more cautious side believe that things are going to work out that you don't have to push them and i'm telling you they are going to work out yes and you don't have to push it you will feel like you do and that's the devil trying to get at you and make you self-sabotage before you get your big old reward and that's why i want you to know your reward is already there you don't have to rush to it it's there it's there if you try to rush to it you'll get in a car accident so slow the fuck down. Set healthy boundaries and know your worth. Okay. This is for everything. And this is when it comes to monetary value, 3D value, or social value. It's the universe trying to say to you, Aries, because this is your car. You have to define who you are. And set those boundaries for who you are. It's saying caution. Because if you rush in too quickly, you will compromise who you are. Because you're more focused on getting that thing that's tempting you. Instead of, but is it aligned with my integrity? Don't settle for what is in front of you. Don't settle at all. What is yours is coming to you. There's plenty in front of you to make you happy and distract you for the time being. There is no need to rush this shit. Set healthy boundaries. Let people know very clearly, this is what I demand. And I am willing to wait for it. I, don't, I will not settle. In other words, you may be tempted by your own impulsivity to um, throw yourself into something that's beneath you or at the very least doesn't respect who you are or leave room for your own unique personality. And that's where you gotta set boundaries. And listen, setting boundaries takes a lot of energy too. This is another really good place to put your energy this week is set those boundaries, make them firm, make them clear. People may try very hard to push on those boundaries. And because in so many ways, you may be like caught up in your own head, it, you could feel it coming down on you. And this is when you just basically say, no, I'm taking my space and you'll get your answer when I'm ready to give it. Thank you very much. Have a good day. <sighs> That's what I gotta do. It's not, it's not actually funny. I'm not trying to be dramatic. I, there's, a, there's a book called Johnny Tremaine, and I remember they made us read it in middle school. And I've mentioned it, I don't know if to you guys, but definitely in other readings. And there's a part of the book where Johnny is very pop-offish. He's a very, you know, he jumps to conclusions and he rattles off in his mouth. And it's actually something that hinders his success. So something, a technique that he learned is to take a breath and count to 10. Before you make any response, just take a breath in and out and count to 10. Count to 10. One, two, three, four. And look around. Don't just like be in your head. Count to 10 and get the clock back. Don't let the clock run away from you. Jumping into things. It says, take a leap of faith and life is speeding up. There is something very beautiful. I'm not trying to say don't take opportunities because this is definitely indication that there's an opportunity just waiting for you this week. And yes, I would say do it, but also make sure that you're not doing it just to do something, right? This is respect who you are and confirm your value with everything that you do. Now, what does this have to do with? Maybe you could tell me a little bit. What does this have to do with? What does this have to do with for Aries? Primarily, your commitment is being tested. And that may be intentional. And confidence is your key to success. So your commitment is being tested and your confidence is being challenged. 
You, so in other words, your sense of self-value is the hook the devil's going to put in you. This sense, this is what can really undermine you. I'm not good enough. People think I'm not good enough. So maybe I'm just going to give up or I'm going to rush into something and make a stupid decision because I've given up because I because nobody's seeing my value. That's not true. Your value is very clear and your commitment to your standards. Please, 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 under that line that a thousand times, what's being tested is your commitment to your standards. So commit yourself to your standards. Write down, right after this reading, during this reading, I don't give a shit, you can pause this video. Write down, what is it that I want? I will not settle. Do not settle. Do not compromise your standards because this is going to make you feel weak. Criticism. People being critical to you. It's going to make you feel weak. You're committed. You know you're worth it. You know your value. Even in the face of criticism. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. You have every right to make any, draw any conclusions you like. I'd rather you ask me questions, but I can't control what you decide about me. I'm committed. I'm staying here. I'm doing this. That's it. That's it. And if, if somebody doesn't like you or they, you have to change in order for them to, to, to give you the job or think you're worthy, or, nah, you don't have to change shit. That person don't recognize your value. Go on to somebody who does because there is definitely people out there that recognize your value. Oh, yes, there are. Look at the bigger picture. This is a good suggestion. This is Sagittarius energy. In other words, there's something else out there. Maybe you're too focused on one specific thing and you got to broaden your mind and this is the time to do it. Expand your mind. Do not get caught up in an obsessive focus that says there's only one way to do this. That is not true. Look for other ways to do it. Because that's how you're going to move forward and that's how you're going to find your opportunities. There are other ways to get this done. Expand your reach. Expand your perspectives. Or ask other people for their perspectives. Especially with Sagittarius energy. This could be something abroad. There may be opportunities abroad. There just may be opportunities that are exotic to you that you haven't thought of before. And talking to other people, having conversations about ideas will actually help you brainstorm. But it's definitely like, see the bigger picture. I feel like there's too much razor sharp focus and you put too much energy into, oh, this is the way. This is the way. It's not. It's certainly not the only way. There are an infinite number of possibilities. And don't let somebody get you stuck into less than you deserve because you're stuck on only seeing one road. We have gossip, talking to friends, talking, and this is 11. So what it's saying is talking to friends and sharing what you need and sharing what you think and sharing your issues and sharing your problems and asking people for advice is actually going to help you a lot right now and it will contribute to your awakening and broadening. So what is suggested by this reading is talk to people, especially if you're frustrated. Talk to people, ask people questions, ask people for help, let people know, share, share, share what you're thinking, share what you're feeling. It'll actually lead to awakening information that you need or, yeah, information that you need. Um, this is all about sharing a secret with a friend. Or maybe you've held back and you felt like, oh, I got to do this all by myself. And so now you're functioning in isolation, which is actually malfunctioning. Don't function in isolation. Share. Talk to somebody. Not just about crying your heart out, about your ambitions. Like, let people know it's time. That's what it's saying. It's time to communicate your intentions. It's time to put yourself out there. It's not time. Well, it's it's not good because you will get harsh feedback. You will get criticism and you will get rejected. But it is definitely time to put yourself out there because that rejection and harsh criticism, A, is uh, lessons you're going to learn. And it's also, I'm sorry, lessons you need to learn to get where you're going. And it's also still a good time because it's gonna be how you understand who's right for you and who's not right for you. What opportunity is good for you? What opportunity is not good for you? Because when you put yourself out there, like who can I trust with, with talking? Who really gets me? Who's really gonna help? 
you definitely want to put put it out there. You definitely want to put yourself out there. You definitely do. Tell your secrets to somebody. Did somebody tell you a secret? Did somebody tell you something? That could also be two. Don't take it at face value. Well, take it for what it is. It's not that somebody's being deceptive, but they might not know the whole story either. So just because you heard something about somebody else or for somebody else or from somebody else, it's not the whole story. It is going to cause you doubt. It is going to be a challenge, but don't believe the worst this week. It's going to, you're going to be inclined to believe the worst this week. Don't do it. You'll be tempted. You could feel it. You'll feel it. You'll feel it pulling you that way and be like, shut up. Nope. I'm just going to keep moving forward. Not rushing, believing. Then we have Scorpio and Aquarius. That's a really interesting energy. Ah, okay, so this is the resurrection of a possibility or a connection transcending the crowd. That's what it is. Transcending the crowd. You're linking up, you're, you're getting involved with a different kind of people. That's what this transformational process is, is you are making new friends. You're, you're different. You've changed. That's the Scorpio energy. So why are you going to expect the people around you to not have changed? Something here with the community that you're in, maybe it's perhaps where you live, has changed. That is time to change. That's part of your transition. Let's see where it leads. I'm going to go to the extended. The link is below. I hope you join me.